World events often move fast, but it's hard to match the pace and power of change in 1989. It culminated in one of the most famous scenes in recent history, the fall of the Berlin Wall, which was an icon of the Cold War. I'm, I'm only 27 years old, but it's fantastic that we and our children can, can go in all around the world. One theory is that the fall was a bureaucratic accident. Private travel outside the country can now be applied for without prerequisites, conditions, or family relationships. Permits will be issued on short notice. As I understand it, it goes into effect immediately, without delay. It seemed totally unreal, but it was Schabowski saying it and was broadcast on official television, so it had to be true. But in reality, the wall fell amid a wave of revolutions that left the Soviet-led communist bloc teetering on the brink of collapse and helped That's define cool. a new world order. <laughs> It was on November 9th, 1989, five days after half a million people gathered in East Berlin in a mass protest, that the Berlin Wall dividing communist East Germany from West Germany crumbled. The most deserved exuberance of Berliners spread like wildfire around the globe. Well, I think I took it as something that happened, that inevitably had to happen, and uh, I saw that the time for that had come. Once the East Germans saw that, that uh, they could uh, breach the wall without getting clobbered by the Stasi, uh, it just flowed over. The taste of freedom was so strong, David, that they they get across the wall and then just kept going. It was, it was amazing. You must know that the Berlin Wall wasn't just a bunch of bricks and barbed wire. It stood for big ideas and showed the struggle between two different ways of life. I think in terms of history, the coming down to the wall and the unification of Germany will be the most historic thing that happened on my watch. It was a symbol of a country torn in half and a world divided by big differences in politics and beliefs. Until now, you must have grasped the deeper meaning of the Berlin Wall and why its fall was so important. It didn't just change a city or a country, it changed the whole world. The wall was a stark symbol of the Cold War and vividly illustrated the ideological divide. On one side was East Germany, part of the Soviet zone, a realm of strict government control, limited freedoms, and operating under the influence of the Soviet Union and its communist ideology. The Soviet Union backed East German government, enforced its rule through the East German army and border guards, ensuring that the East German border was tightly secured. You might be wondering why the hell there was a need to construct a wall. The Iron Curtain through the middle of the city separates friends, family, and day-to-day -day life. It's hard to believe that it would be possible to divide a city. And suddenly there were these huge rolls of barbed wire, and then one saw the reality. It was really true. The Berlin Wall was actually the outcome of Germany's defeat in the Second World War. The wall divided it into two countries, the German Democratic Republic, or East Germany, comprising the Soviet zone of occupation, and the Federal Republic of Germany, or West Germany which evolved from the combined occupation zones of the British, French, and US allies. In the competitive climate of the Cold War, it was troubling to East German leaders that the equivalent of a town's worth of people were electing to move each year from the communist state to capitalist West Germany in search of jobs and higher living standards. So, the German Democratic Republic decided to erect a physical barrier between East and West Berlin to stem the flow of this tide. The first and main shock we had was 61. When they built a wall right through a city, it was not an ordinary wall around a city to protect it from enemies, but it was a prison wall through a city. And we didn't believe this. We thought there is a, 
the, is the responsibility of all the four allies and they will hold this city together. But nobody did anything. The wall was constructed rapidly and without public warning. And the first barrier was largely completed in just a few days beginning on August 13, 1961. The Cold War was a political and ideological conflict between the United States and the Soviet Union. The wall represented the division between communism and democracy and encapsulated the tensions between the two superpowers. The fall of the wall marked the end of the Cold War. For East Germans, the fall of the wall meant newfound freedom. Families and friends who were separated for decades were finally able to reunite. The reunification of Germany resulted in significant changes in the political and economic systems of both East and West Germany. But beyond Germany, the fall of the Berlin Wall had a broader global impact. East Germany was integrated into the capitalist system, leading to an influx of goods and services. This integration fueled economic growth in the region and eventually contributed to the unification of Europe. The wall was a stunning marker of Europe's division. It went up in the middle of the city, cutting across neighborhoods, streets, even houses. It embodied the sudden and dramatic separation of one continent into two camps. It also embodied both camps' fears and anxieties. Both East and West preferred to keep the other out of sight. The physical wall has already fallen, but the intangible wall still exists, and today the Germans talk of a wall in the head, the psychological effects of division that haven't gone away. Salaries are considerably lower in Eastern Germany, and unemployment higher. Studies show that both Easterners and Westerners continue to view each other in unflattering terms. I had thought it would take one generation to unify the Germans. It would be more than two generations. Beyond Germany, old notions of Western and Eastern Europe still endure, even within the European Union. This produces tensions between the EU's member states and serves as an obstacle to integration. The fall of the Berlin Wall has left an enduring imprint on Europe and the rest of the world. The upheaval of that moment still shapes politics economies and biographies in ways we don't normally consider. We may think that 1989 is behind us, but its shadow still looms large. Along with the fall of the Berlin Wall, the Soviet Union fell, and the Warsaw Pact was disabled in 1991. The newly constituted Russian Federation got its first democratically elected president Boris Yeltsin, who embarked upon swift market-oriented reforms. And what is important is not so much the man that the people have elected, but the fact that whereas in the past there used to be many people who wanted us to believe that Russians were not ready for democracy, that they would not accept market reforms, that they would not accept private property, that they did not understand what a market was all about, that they could not understand what a share holding company was. This uh, is what they wanted us to believe. In the process, the ensuing inflation devalued the savings of ordinary Russians and sent millions into poverty. Gross domestic product shrunk by 40% between 1991 and 1998. Further between 1991 and 1994, life expectancy in Russia dropped by five years. In 1998, Russia defaulted on its debts and its economy crashed. The collapse of the wall ripped through the fabric of Russian society, which in 1998 saw a massive increase in corruption and organized crime. The geopolitics of Eastern Europe changed along with the hopes and prosperity of the many who previously lived behind the Iron Curtain. In 1999, Hungary, Czech Republic and Poland joined NATO, followed by Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania and Slovakia in 2004, Albania and Croatia in 2009, Montenegro in 2017, and North Macedonia in 2020. It speaks volumes of the impotence of Russia, who at the time couldn't intervene when NATO was at war with Russia's ally Serbia. Countries in Central and Eastern Europe witnessed strong economic growth, rising living standards and personal and political freedoms. 
to the broader world, it symbolized the fall of communism in Europe. The fall of the Berlin Wall has been a positive for many people worldwide. Of course, the removal of any repressive regimes can never be a bad thing. Thankfully, the Cold War passed without a nuclear war, which would have had a cataclysmic effect on our way of life today.